Hey Exponential, Eric Bramlett here. I'm here to have some big conversations and we're gonna do that in small spaces. John Mark Comer is with us. John, Mark, why don't you come on, come on in. Oh, Welcome, yeah, come on in, yeah. Do your friends call you John or John Mark or John Mark Comer? How does that work? They call me John Mark, but uh, yes, now that I've started writing books, people think I put my middle name on there to be pretentious because a lot of authors put the full name on. It's that people start calling me John and I don't know who they're talking to. Turns but, out you were pretentious from the very beginning, I, I before you wrote books. Since I was a very young child. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your family. Yeah, I have three kids, three teenagers, so we're in that stage. 17 and then two 14 year olds and a lovely wife we married really young so we're coming up on our 22 year anniversary now you just recently spent a whole year on a sabbatical talk a little bit about what that experience was like i called it a year-long sabbatical it was about five or six months of rest off work and then another five or six months where i was working but not any public ministry after going through that year do you have like kind of like a resting sabbatical face? Like, is there like, <laughs> like, like, do you have it? I just always look this dour. Is that what you're asking? Well, I'm just asking, like, if there's resting carryover. Sabbatical face. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to answer that one for me. Noemi Chavez is here. Noemi, come on in. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Happy to be here with you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about your family. Yeah, Um. so I'm in Long Beach, California. Married to Joshua Chavez, and I have two sons, uh, Josh and Steven, who are 20 and 17. You're almost, you're like in the home stretch. How does that feel? Well, I guess home stretch, like what does that mean, right? Because we're a Latino family, so home stretch doesn't mean anything until they're married, you know, so. Well, like, as an Anglo, like I just send my kids out and I don't look back, so yeah. I understand. One question I have just as we're here in this small space, you seem tall. Yeah. And so I'm just curious, like how tall are you? You want the actual number. Sure. Okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is it a different number for the Latino well, culture? So I'm um, five, nine and a half. Exactly. But same. How tall are you? Five, nine and a half. It's weird. So I just usually say five, ten. Oh, so you round up some, some. So you are a pastor. I am 100 percent a church planter and a pastor. Yes. Because yeah, yeah, we all know that if you're a pastor and you've got a number, you're rounding up. Uh, I've got Derwin Gray here with me. Derwin, come on in. Come on into the small space. How you doing, Derwin? <laughs> you know, is, is uh, this okay too? By the you way, know, it, you know, I'm I'm very much in touch with my masculinity, uh, but this is really close. Could I offer you a mint? Yeah, I need it. Okay. Can you can you, can you smell it? No, no, no. I, well, maybe I should offer me a mint. I don't know if if I'm. I mean, it's some fresh yeah. aroma. We'll go ahead and both. Well, I mean, it's some no, aroma. Let's go ahead and both. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Derwin, tell me a little bit about. Your family. I'm married to the greatest woman in the world, Vicky. Married 33 years. She's a co-founder of Transformation Church, and she is epic. My daughter is 26. Her name is Presley. She's a graduate of UNC Wilmington. My son Jeremiah is 22. He graduates from University of Montana. What does it feel like as a parent to see your kids make their way in this world? The older your kids are, the more you're grateful for God's grace because you recognize, no matter how good of a parent you are. Your greatest job is to point them to the father because he's the greatest parent of all. Speaking of like kind of leading and leading by example, I mean, we we're called to discipleship. I actually do have an apprentice for my for my stuff that uh, I'm doing here at Exponential. Chris, kind of come on in. Yeah, no, this is this is perfect. Yeah. So I'm an introvert. So this is. Uh, yeah. Help me, Holy Spirit. I, I do have one question for you. I'm a I'm a parent of two children and I just wonder um, Derwin do you have a favorite child do I have a <laughs> I don't have a favorite child but what I have learned is this the child who is most like you is easier to love but the one who is least like you is the one who teaches you how to love Whoa. that's like that's some good stuff right there wow. is that in a book no, but maybe it should be, huh? Yeah, you should maybe it, it should be. Derwin, thank you so much for having this big conversation in a small space. We appreciate thank you. Thank you. Okay, praise God. I'm leaving now. All right, Derwin's leaving. Thanks, Chris. I think, I think you did a great job. Can I, can I talk on the main stage? No. No. You cannot.